What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all of the news after week 13 of the regular season. The Jaguars blew a huge lead up early, 21-3 against the Cleveland Browns. The Browns came back and won. Um, and it just kind of shows a lack of experience from this young team. We had four turnovers. We forced four turnovers, um, but it kind of canceled each other out. We couldn't take advantage of it when we're turning the ball over. Um, a few of those uh, turnovers were, again, late-game situations, but it's still... Still too many. It's not good. Uh, right as the Jaguars, you know, look. And if you look, if it, had we won that game, we'd have the same amount of wins as every other team in our division. Uh, we really would be right there with the other teams. But the way things are going, I, it's not looking too good for us, guys. I, I don't know. I don't trust our team enough. Our defense has a tough time stopping other teams' offenses from scoring, and our offense just turns the ball over too much. So right now, I'm not, not looking too good for uh not right now it's not looking too good for our postseason hopes even even though we're only a game or two behind i just don't have too much faith in this team yet um but we do have a lot of draft picks i'm very much looking forward to the offseason uh with free agents too i think we're definitely going to be able to improve this team so i'm excited about what's going to be in store for this team next year i think this year we're just going to have to kind of ride it out and if we do go on another little winning streak, we could very well be right back into the playoffs. We still have another game against the Colts, another game against the Texans that we're about to play next, and then another game against the Titans. So if we can win those three games, I can pretty much promise you we're going to be in the playoffs. Um, that'll give them another loss. That'll give us that'd make us go three and one over the last four games. Um, and I think if we went three and one over the last four games, especially with wins against our division rivals, I think we'd be in the playoffs. Now it's going to be tough to do, but we'll just kind of see how the team does. Uh, Peyton Manning's going to be back. I went and looked at draft stories. There was nothing there. I was a little bit disappointed with that. Um, I really wish there was more to the draft stories. I haven't really heard much this ah uh, this season, so I don't know what that is. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and do do a little bit of scouting today. Why not? Uh, it's been a little bit. Um, and then, you know, we can scout at the end of the season as well. This will probably be it for this season. So a lot of people recommended that I look towards offensive line, which I agree is probably a pretty good idea. Let me, let's just go through here. Now, this is a 6'2 running back that weighs 200 pounds with A speed. I like to see that a lot. That's really cool right there. Um, strength. All right, well, he's huge with A speed, but he doesn't have the strength. That doesn't really make sense, and he does not look like a running back looking at that picture. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I really... I, I want to be very careful about the points I spend right now. Uh, catching B. All right, well, we'll look into him later on down there. 251 pounds, a 6'5 running back? Are you kidding me? That's like... That's way bigger than a fullback would be, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Trucking. Yeah, I was about to say. Acceleration. What's his agility? Ah, see, that's a problem. Uh, catching is B. That's all right. Uh, pass block. See, it's not bad for a rookie running back. Um, wow. I'm kind of interested in this guy a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of in 6'5", 251. He would be huge standing in the backfield. Look, there's a ton of big running backs this year. This is bizarre. Wow, oh, 6'1", 242. My goodness. Let's see what, what he's all about. A strength, trucking, B, okay. Might be a nice late round pick there. Uh, 6'4", 241. What in the world? Um... Let's see, what's his agility? Oh! Accelerate off, ah, his acceleration was an A. Um, juke move, I guess I'm not using too many points looking at all that. Catching, A, wow, okay. Carrying A, he's not going to fumble the ball. Uh, DeMarco Mays, that's a sixth round pick potentially. That could be a huge steal at that point in the draft. So I'll have to keep an eye on him, but that is some... Those are some huge backs. Let's look at the fullbacks. I mean, yeah, those running backs are the size of these fullbacks down here. That's pretty crazy. Actually, a few of them were bigger. So, to give you an idea. 6'6 uh, six, six wide receiver. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, he's really slow. It looks like he should probably be a tight end. If he's 6'6 six, six and not that fast, kind of looks like he's more of a tight end. I doubt he has the blocking to uh, be a tight end. Let's see. No. 
you know, for a rookie, that's not bad, but yeah. Uh, let's see if there's anybody that kind of stands out in here. Um, I'm just kind of scrolling through right now. Tight end. Uh, I do want to get another tight end, but I don't know. Uh, left tackle we don't really need. Obviously, we could always draft this guy potentially uh, and move him over to the right tackle spot. Or move uh, Jokel over to the right tackle. So that's a possibility. Honestly, I really don't think I'm going to draft many offensive linemen. Um, I, I realize that's probably what I should do. But I think I'm going to target offensive linemen in free agency. I think that'd be... Like, obviously we'll have to see how free agency pans out first. But I think it'd be a lot more fun to have rookies at uh, playmaking positions. So I think I'm going to try to... And plus, I'd like to get a known guard you know I don't want to draft a high offensive lineman just to have them not be productive so uh, that's going to be my goal there is to target them in free agency so let's go ahead and scout some more um, trying to figure out what position to look at middle linebacker I've, well, I, I know I've already scouted a lot of that I think I've scouted a lot on um, defense so far so let's scout on offense a little bit let's check out Ty Ponder here See what he can do. Uh, throw power. Uh, that's you know what? It's really not all that good. Uh, I wouldn't think too much of that. Uh, oop, didn't mean to do strength. Now see, that's a lot better. A throw power, short accuracy. A B B B. All right, so that's not bad. Um, awareness C. All right. Uh, let's see who else kind of like seeing these quarterbacks from like smaller schools makes me kind of want to draft one of them coastal carolina ah let's see salisbury oh my gosh salisbury's like the tiniest little town i didn't even I, i'm from north carolina i think i had family that lived in salisbury at some point and i had no idea there was even a college there that's how small this town is oh my gosh that's awesome um no, nah, nothing really stands out right there. Well, let's, who is the 6'6 quarterback? We'll see what he has to offer. I like his height. No. Not really many good quarterbacks in this draft. That's not too good. That might mean we have to go with Matt Scott next season as well. Um, I mean, we'll just kind of have to see how that all plays out, but... Eh, I don't know. 243. These guys are huge. Um... All right, A speed, B strength. If trucking is high, I'm going to love this guy. Oh, there we go. All right, come on, agility. Ah, his agility's not great, and his acceleration isn't great. But, you know, I can always work on those. Um, can he catch the ball? Eh, he's not really good at catching it, I guess. Um, awareness, see, that's the problem. Well, anyway, that's somebody to keep an eye on. A speed and B trucking, or, or B strength and... Uh, a trucking I think so I kind of like that and he's not even supposed to be drafted so he could be a, a seventh round pick where I could even sign him potentially so again another more good news with that uh, let's look at some wide receivers why not catching jumping spectacular I need somebody even catch in traffic so I don't have all these dropped balls um, <laughs> that's funny uh, let's see all right, well, you know what? We'll save these other scouting points for a little bit later, I think. We'll come back to all the rest of that. Uh, one thing I do want to do is change my strategy up. Because while the Saints defense has not been, or I'm sorry, the uh, Charger, or geez, Bears defense has not been awful, I really do like a 3-4 defense. So, I'm, especially because Brian Roll has played so good for me uh, in his time. There we go. Because Brian Rolls played great for me in the time Puzlesny was out. So uh, I'm definitely excited about that. Now, New Orleans playbook, I don't know. Uh, let's try switching it up. Let's try switching it up. Let's go to the Chargers playbook. I'm not sold on anything. Again, a lot of this season is just trying to get ready for next season. So there's a lot of trial and error going on right now with this. Gosh, I have the hiccups. I always hap This always happens to me during videos. Um... We'll try the uh, Chargers offense really quick. Uh, the Saints wasn't horrible. It actually got uh, Cecil Shorts into positions that were allowing him to play better. He was catching the ball a lot more. 
and he had routes that I enjoyed better. So that was pretty cool. So that's something to keep an eye on. Again, I just want to try different things out this season um, before we uh, go to next season because then, you know, we're, we're going to ex be expected to win next season. Whether or not that's going to happen, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, let's just check the awards out, and then that should be it for this video. I'll wrap it up. Uh, Mathis, four sacks. My goodness, Sean Lee, an interception, a fumble force, and a touchdown. Danny Woodhead had a monster game, uh, and we're about to use that offense, so hopefully it works for us as well. And then Drew Brees, four touchdowns, one interception. So there you have it, guys. And uh, we'll get through all the other awards and stats later on. And I will see you next time as we take on the Texans. Later.